Growing your own alfalfa sprouts and bean sprouts is a really economical way to get more nutrition into your diet. It only takes about a week to get uh, all you need for that whole week. Uh, what I do is, um, this is kind of a smaller version, but you can get a bigger mason jar. So you just add some seeds. This is an eighth cup of seeds, so half of a quarter cup of seeds in here. And then you'll want something to drain the seeds through. This is um, just burlap that I cut. Of course, you'll want to wash it with soap and water before you get started. Um, so all you do is you fill this jar up maybe halfway with water, let it sit overnight, and then uh, rinse it through the burlap like that, right? Fill it up with water again, and then rinse it again. Once a day, you're gonna rinse it like that. So you just leave it, you can leave it on its side, kind of like that, to let the sprouts grow. Um, some people like to have it up, you know, upside down, but I don't really think that's necessary. You just leave it on its side, and each day, put water in it again, rinse it, and put it on its side again. I'll show you um, what I've done here. This is my uh, bean sprouts and my alfalfa sprouts. So the bean sprouts need a weight on them to get nice and thick. I'm using this big jar as the weight instead of buying another weight. And the bean sprouts are big enough to sit in a colander, so that's how I do it. There's some water in this bowl underneath to kind of help keep them from drying out. Um, but every day, I, I rinse these and drain them and set them back on here. Same with the bean sprouts. Rinse them, replace the water in the bowl, drain them and set them on there. In a week, uh, you have nice, clean bean sprouts and alfalfa sprouts.